Good morning, everyone. So it is a bright, sunshiny day here in South Florida. It was a little overcast, and I thought, oh, I gotta go out and pick some beans. It's a good time to go do that. And as soon as I started to come out here, the sun came out. So that's where we're at. I've got all these gorgeous beans that I need to pick. So that is first on my list today. I've got a bunch of stuff to do garden related today. So I'm gonna take you along for that. So let me get the camera set. So these beans are growing on this cattle panel trellis. These are uh, burpees yard long beans, uh, asparagus beans I believe they call them, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. So I'm going to get going. Alrighty, so this is what I got in just a couple minutes. I got this from the first side and this from the other side. Some of these are on the thin side, but I like to get them when they're when they're a little bit thinner. They're they're very nice and sweet then. If I wait another day, a lot of times they're too big. So this was my bean harvest for today. It took me, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> I will come back out and check again later today, um, probably just before dinner time to make sure I don't have any more that need to be picked because they grow so fast but I will definitely be picking again tomorrow let's move on alrighty so today I am also starting some more seeds I think it's all peppers today I picked them yesterday so I have habanadas which are like a jalapeno like a habanero but they're not hot not a pino which are like a jalapeno but not hot I've got lilac bells I've got du de España I don't know how to say that these are supposed to be a sweet pepper, kind of like a bell, um, but they're supposed to be long, six to seven inches long. I would be excited over that. And then, oh, I do have a couple. I have a damsel hybrid tomato. Um, these are supposed to resist late blight, verticulum, verticillium wilt, and nematodes. And since we have a nematode problem, I'm going to give these a try in one of the beds that I know is mildly affected. And I also have some purple tomatillos. A couple years ago we did tomatillos. We did okay with them. We didn't do spectacular, but I'm going to give them a try again. So I've got my three seed trays out. I'm going to do six of each variety. I've got my labels. I've got the old labels from the old ones. And then these were new seed trays. And look, these came with the adorable heart labels. I'm going to save most of these for when I do herbs, probably uh, tomorrow or Saturday. But uh, I'm going to get going on these. So again, I'm using my regular Pro Mix because that's what I have. I haven't bought any seed starting mix since the last time. So I'm going to get going on this.
right, so these are the ones I started on Sunday. Um, today's Thursday, so four days. I've got all these have sprouted. I've got all these that have sprouted. I'm waiting on the black cherries and the rosies. And of course the peppers always take longer. So uh, this spot doesn't get much sun. It will get sun in the late afternoon, but not this top shelf. So I'm gonna move these two because they've already got sprouts down a shelf, so they'll get sun later this afternoon. And I'm gonna put my fresh ones up here. Alrighty, so here we are. Um, I did give them a little bit of water. The, the, my potting soil was very moist to start with, very wet. But I did give them some water. All I have left is to take my pictures so I can remember the information on each one. And I am done with seed starting for today.